Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Valley Town Chapel's very first live service. I know this is not what we all had planned, but prayerfully, before long, we can be back in our church buildings. Um, just got a few prayer requests here. Uh, we need to remember our nation as a whole. Uh, we're all battling the same problem right now, and we all need prayer. We need to remember our government leaders. We need to also remember all those who are infected. Um, there have been several deaths from this virus, and we really need to pray hard on this. Let's remember all our doctors, nurses, first responders, police, EMS, all of our public servants. They're out there putting themselves and their families at risk to do their jobs and to keep us safe. Uh, keep remembering Jackie Anderson, Ola's son. Let's just remember him and pray that he continues to heal and does well. Let's remember Vernell Whitaker, Joan Whitaker, and Philip Crawford. He's been under the weather for a couple of weeks. We need to remember him. Our church, let's remember each other, pray for one another. Uh, if you don't mind, continue to remember Beth. She is getting slowly slowly getting better but she's still having a hard time if you could just remember her um danny and kathy Mur mayberry and we also need to more than anything we need to remember the lost we're in a time right now in this world where things are getting close to closing down and we really need to pray for the lost that they will see the truth and go towards Jesus. Um, in Matthew 21, 22, it says that in all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. It says believing. We need to believe. And we will, we will get answers. We will get answers. Um, I'm going to ask Jerry now to come over and he's going to lead us in prayer and give us a word from that Welcome God has everyone. We uh, hope that we have a lot watching this morning. This is a uh, very first for us here at Valley Town Chapel to uh, be live on the internet on Facebook, and uh, we hope that everyone watching will receive a blessing and uh, just pray for us. Uh, it's going to be hard to go into a message without any singing this morning. But just pray that uh, God would bless, bless the service, bless the message. We pray that each and every word that's said would be to uplift His holy, precious name. Let's go to prayer. Fathers, we come to you this morning, Lord. We're so thankful, Lord, that we have this access, Lord, that we can still have service. Father, it may not be what we're accustomed to, but Father, we just thank you for the abilities, Lord, to go out into people's homes this way, Lord. And uh, thank you, Lord, for per, per, uh, uh, providing that technology, Lord, that we can go into people's homes this morning, God. We're so thankful for this blessing. Father, we pray for our nation. Lord, that you would lead and guide and direct, send conviction upon those who are lost, Lord. God, I pray for our government leaders, whether it be our national leaders, our state leaders, our county leaders, and our city and town leaders, Lord. Just lead, guide, and direct them, Lord, in the ways that you would have them to go. Father, we pray for those who are infected with this horrible uh, virus, Lord, that uh, Lord, your will would be done. Father, we pray for all the doctors and the nurses, the first responders, the police, the EMS, the fire departments, Lord, everyone that risks their lives, Lord, to keep us all safe. Father, we pray for Brother Jackie, Lord, that you continue 
uh, with his healing, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would give him a special blessing this morning. Lord, just touch his heart. Lord, we pray for Sister uh, uh, Vernell, Lord, that you would touch her this morning, God. Lord, be with John Whitaker, Lord. I know she's going through a rough time, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would bless her, touch her heart, touch her soul, touch her body this morning, Lord. And brother, and brother Philip, Lord, I pray, the Lord, that you'd continue uh, touching him, Lord. He's uh, went through a bit, uh, a long battle with this uh, strep throat, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you would bless him and touch him, touch his body. Bless Sister Rosa, Lord, as she takes care of him, God. Lord, bless our church. Lord, that it continue to grow. Father, send the people we need at Valley Town Cemetery Chapel, Lord. Father, I pray for musicians. Lord, I pray for workers, Lord, that you would send them. God, that they would come in and be a part of our family, Lord. God, I pray for Beth, Lord, that you would continue to touch her, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done for her already. And Lord, we pray mostly for the lost, Lord God, that, uh, Father, I know the times are ending, are, are drawing close, Lord, the ending. And I pray, Lord, that uh, the lost, Lord, would come to realize, God, that they're headed to an everlasting hell. And Father, I just pray, Lord, that you'd send conviction. Father, that the, the lost could be saved, Lord, especially in our community, Lord. We have so many. Lord, we pray for the homeless, Lord, in our community. God, that you would uh, bless them, touch them, God. Lord, it must be hard, Lord, to weather the weather and, and sleep outside. God, I just pray, Lord, that you would comfort them, Lord, and bless them. God, I pray for Danny and Kathy Mayberry, Lord, that you would... Uh, continue with our healing Lord they both went through a, a, a long uh, battle Lord and I pray Lord that you would uh, touch both of them Lord Father we give you the honor praise and the glory for it all in Jesus sweet name Amen we're going to be reading today in Isaiah chapter 1 starting with verse 16 and this is part of the uh, uh, this is uh, after Sodom and Gomorrah and God hated Judas Judas uh, a sacrifice in verse 10 it says hear the word of the Lord ye rulers of Sodom Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of ram and the fat of fed beast, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. When you come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? You know, the Bible tells us in, I don't exactly remember the book, but the, the Bible tells us that we need to repent daily of our sins and our shortcomings. There's not a day that goes by that we don't come short of the glory of God. And uh, we need to repent daily. Uh, repentance is not just when you ask to be saved. Uh, we still sin. The very best we can do, we're going to sin. And God expects us to repent daily for our sins. Verse 16 says, Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek judgments. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. 
Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. I want to talk to you today about your sins shall be white as snow. Like I said, we don't we don't repent. A lot of Christians don't repent daily. But the Bible tells us that we shall repent daily. And when we when we repent daily for any wrongdoing that we've done, our sins shall be washed and they shall be white as snow. God forgives forgets our sins as he forgives us of them. The transformation involves a ceasing of all evil activities but requires good deeds. For example, the pandemic we are facing at the moment, we should be helping each other instead of being selfish and hoarding food and supplies. We need to be helping our neighbors and we should be willing to do anything we can for our neighbor that they aren't able to do for themselves. In verses 18 through 20, the Lord gives us two options. We can either be cleansed of our sins and the result will be that life will be good. Or we can, we can continue in our rebellion and have a life that ends in destruction. That's the thing about God. He gives us freedom of choice but our choice can and will lead to either a good life or destruction. Are you ready to make that choice? Are we facing this pandemic because of our choice? Have we turned away from God and He's trying to get our attention by forcing us into our homes? Maybe we should be spending this time in repentance, prayer, and Bible study. You know, the Bible talks about over in Revelations in the end times. There will be wars and rumors of wars, pestilence, plagues, and earthquakes in diverse places. I know you heard this last Sunday, and I believe that this is one of the plagues that the Bible talks about in Revelations. And I believe when this, this is over, we will see more plagues come upon us here on this earth. And I believe this is to get the attention of those that the devil has deceived, that, that uh, the ones that think they're ready to go to heaven, but in reality, they're not. I believe also that this is God's way of getting us ready for the rapture. The rapture is 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 right at hand. It, it, it could be today, it could be tonight, it could be tomorrow. God only knows when it's going to happen. But we need to be ready. We need to get our lives in order. We need to repent for our wrongdoing. And we need to uplift Jesus in all that we say and all that we do. I believe that Jesus is the very reason for the uh, things that we need to be doing right now. We need to have our heart set on Jesus. We need to have our eyes set on Jesus. We need to be looking for His coming. For time is very short. I know we've heard this all, well I know I've heard it all my life and the ones in, in our church that's older, I know that they're, they've heard this all their life. But the end is very near. We are living in the very last days here on this earth. And it's 
our goal to get the word out to each and every person and I like this idea of being on the internet so that we can go out to all the world God tells us I can't remember the book it's in but it says go ye into all the world and preach the gospel and uh, this has been on my mind for a long time uh, I used to run an internet Christian radio station and I'm hoping and praying that God will allow us as a church to open this back up so that we can have good gospel singing and good preaching the Word of God from the King James Version of the Bible going out into the world 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and I'm hoping and praying that God will allow us to start doing this live thing even though even when we get back in church uh, in, the, in, in the church to uh, do this live every Sunday and Sunday night and I'm praying that God will make the way for us to do this so y'all be much in prayer for that um, we uh, we are a, a loving church we're a close knit family and we'd like to invite you to come out and be with us if you're looking for a church that preaches and teaches the King James Version of the Bible, the word that God intended us to have, then this would be the church for you. We're an old-fashioned church. We're small in number. But we believe in the Lord. We're big in heart. And uh, we would like to invite you to come out. I'm going to make some announcements with the good Lord's willing, we'll be back in the church on Sunday, April the 5th. Uh, if we are, Brother Rob Lowe from Bryson City will be back with us again. and Him and his wife will be singing on Sunday, April the 5th. And I'm hoping and praying that we're able to get back into the building by April the 5th. And then Easter Sunday, we'll be having... A Easter sunrise service at 7 a.m. and then we'll take a break and go up to Hardy's and have breakfast then we'll come back and have our morning worship and that day we're going to have communion and we want to invite everyone to come out and take part in that also on uh, Saturday May the 9th we'll be having our first monthly s s s singing of the year we have those May through October each year and our very special guests will be the Smoky Mountain Gospel Singers from Topton, North Carolina these three women will bless your heart and uh, if you never heard them why well, come out and be with us and receive a blessing at night also with us that night will be the Hogsett Brothers from over in Hiawassee North Carolina and we uh, want to invite you to come out that's uh, Saturday May the 9th at 6 p.m. we uh, always start our evening uh, program or evening uh, uh, services at 6 p.m. that way everybody's home before dark a lot of our members or well, most of our members are older members and uh, we want them to be safe and uh, we want them to get home before dark because a lot of them can't see good of a night to drive and uh, that's the reason that we have elected not to have the services in the church right now we want to keep our members safe and we've received a lot of uh, what's the word I'm looking for Tammy uh, a lot a lot of people has ridiculed us for not having church but uh, you know when you have old older members in the church you want to take care of them I believe that's the pastor's job is to make sure that they're safe 
and we don't want to put nobody in harm. We uh, we believe that during this time we should let our members stay at home and the ones that's able to get us on the internet can watch us on the internet. And uh, we thank God again for this opportunity we have to be on the internet. And we just pray that each one would uh, get a blessing, the ones that can uh, reach us by internet. And we thank everyone that's tuned in today We'll invite everybody to tune in again tonight at 6 p.m. We'll have another short message, and we'll just do what God leads us to do. And until next time, may God be with each and every one of you. And let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this great opportunity we have, Lord, to come into people's homes Father, we just pray, Lord, that you take this message and use it, Lord, for thy glory. Father, I just pray, Lord, that uh, we can be able to be back in church real soon, Lord. I pray, Lord, that this virus will be contained. Lord, as they're working dil diligently, Lord, to find a, a uh, medicine, Lord, that will cure this dreadful d disease, Lord. Father, we just ask, Lord, that you would watch over us and take care of us, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord, for all you've done in our lives, Lord. Lord, we could sit here and thank you till all week, Lord, and we'd never be able to thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us, Lord. But, Lord, we just thank you. We honor you and you. we praise you this morning, Lord. God, be with those who have watched today. Be with those, Lord, that are infected. And once again, Lord, be with those, Lord, that risk their lives each day, Lord, to help those that are in need. Father, we thank you and we praise you and we honor you. In Jesus' sweet name, amen.